Hai, vă rog, Today we're going to look at a bath. This is a bath. And uh, this is not at the bathroom. I won't have as much room as this in the bathroom. So I'm going to have to do this video in two, two parts. One is building the legs up, and the other one is checking it into the bathroom. Uh, because I probably won't have time to put it all in one shot anyway. So anyway, this is how it comes. I'll just lay it on the ground, on the, on, on the floor. Except I took away the, the packet and put it on the floor as a uh, protection. I also took the screws out of the crane, the screw here usually, for packing purposes. And the screws at the centre of here, usually it go into the base as well. But check on that because not all the baths are the same and you don't want those screws to be too long because they're going through here and if they're too long and they go through the base then they ruin your back so you'll get two of those and the both screwed down sometimes you can find the screws missing so you have to find them and make sure you have the right length two plastic legs oh, no. you can't see that can you two plastic legs that are coming in the packing one on either side, and that will go over the top, and that will screw the timber frame here. Right, so we'll screw that one through. They always send just enough screws, so if you lose any, you'll have to run off to B and Q and buy a couple. Our box. Two in that side. Two in that side. And then you've got these screws that will go in the top there. And hopefully they're not going to come through into the bath. Over there. It's the same on the other side. But to save time, I'll just put these two on. Next thing you need are the uh, these 10 mm rods which are screwed so you can have them at any height you want <coughs> now the height that you need is going to depend on the bath pan the standard height for these bath pans is about 20 and a half inches so if you make it from the bottom of the bath to the top of the leg 21. It's also a good idea when you're putting a bath down on the floor, you put it on floorboard, that's an extra floorboard across. So that the recipient will look like that. Oh, you have to kind of shot from the lad. So I'm going to measure from the floor 21 inches. And this is just a brief, this is just a, a rough guy. Because we're not doubling it up until we get into the bathroom itself. Measure that lip, 
And whenever that lip is 40 mil, I'm going to measure down that wall 40 mil. I'm going to fix a battery on the wall. Something like something like that all the way along. So that when, it's, when that's fixed, the bath will sit on that and it's like as a something to steady it. Now the other problem with this bath, you can't see it from there. I'll take the camera over here. There's a gap that can, that can fit me hand down at this side. And no gap there. That's because whoever built this wall didn't build it to the shape of the bath. So, what I'm going to have to do there now is I'm going to chase that out. It's, it's only plasterboard there, so I'll be able to cut that with a jab saw, which will be able me to sink the bath in a slight bit because this has been tiled and um, it won't be able to tile it with a big gap like that. It'll look funny because there's going to be a difference when it's done with the, with the tap from the wall. So we have to be careful how far we sink it in. We can probably get away with half, not going fully that much, and then uh, leave the tire to get away with the other half. But there's all the problems you come across with baths. The other thing to watch for underneath is that we have enough room for our shower, our waste, and our trap. I don't know, we're going to work that out later on. And I'll come back later on when I've got the bath in position and we'll see how we're fixed for waste pipes and fittings. Right, so that's part two. I'll see you for part three in a while. Bye. Hello, people. This is part three of fitting the bath. Um, I've put the bath in position. Um, I've also put the taps on, which is. There's, there's not much to show you about putting taps on, there's just a knot on the back. Uh, it's the important things that I want you to know, uh, like the height <coughs> is important. You see there, just the top of the bath is 22 inches. Right, that's because the panel that comes with it is going to lift on the panel and the lift has to slide underneath that. And then you can put a bath underneath and switch that back up. But all the things that are important to remember are make sure the trap will go on first. Right, and you don't want it touching the floor because you get up full of water, you need to make sure there's a little bit of a gap between the trap and the floor. Another thing to remember what's important is this the film protective film always pull it from any, any joints you're having from round the taps here and the overflow and the sink make sure that you do not put that in there otherwise it, it's a bugger to get out afterwards if you do and it's going to get out for it <coughs> and uh, that's that's pretty solid now and uh, just to show you that it's pretty solid. I'm going to climb on it. And rattle about a bit, right? If it doesn't weasel it and you fall off, <coughs> it's not fixed properly. Well, that's that's pretty solid. That's how it should be. Okay, so the um, <coughs> the bit that we we have the gap at the back there. We've decided to put a wooden wedge in, and so that when we're going to fill that in, or so when it's tiled, the shower door is going to come here and slide that. 
so that's what we design them. Okay, the feet are screwed down to the wood. I haven't put any uh, wood underneath as I said I might do because this floor is a solid floor but sometimes you get that um, you know the square board floor you, the water if there's any leaks will destroy that board in no time so it's better to have packing under that but on floorboards no it's okay okay then there's a bath see you later